What's going on everybody? This is Manuel here. I was uh pretty excited to check the mail today. I got a <clears throat> Condor Bush Lore and a Mora Companion. Let's check it out real quick. I'm not using a tripod right now, that's why I've got my left hand. Here is the Mora Companion. Pretty neat. This is not exactly what I was expecting. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be nothing crazy. But, uh, I guess I say it's weight super light. Shoot. But this out of the box was pretty dang freaking sharp. I shaved my, I don't know if you can tell, shaved my left arm with it. Pretty badass. I like this. It's pretty neat. You know. Now, I had heard or seen on YouTube people saying that the spine on the Mora Companion was not squared off for 90 degrees um, so I guess it wasn't doing that well as far as uh, being able to strike or shower sparks off of a ferro rod now maybe I'm mistaken or maybe it needs to be a sharper 90 degree angle I guess I don't know but it seems like a 90 degree angle to me. I could have swore someone had said that it was round though. Which of course a round spine is not going to shower sparks. But this seems like a pretty... I mean it seems like a 90 degree uh, angle spine. So there is... Oh yeah. Pretty freaking shiny, huh? My Mora companion. Now for the Condor Bush Lore. Let me see real quick if I can get this thing out. It's pretty tight. I mean, it's gonna take some some work. To get the uh, the sheath broke in, there it is right there. El Salvador, freaking condor. Here's the bush lore. Now I've heard a lot of same again. I mean I heard everybody's heard something, huh? You know a bunch of reviews on YouTube saying that this thing had I guess some shoddy construction or um, you know some QC issues. As you can see, my handle's pretty even. Um, I don't see nothing, I mean, the they're not rough at all. You know, unless maybe QC's gone up, or this one happened to be spectacular. Maybe the supervisor's walking by when this one got made, who knows. I mean, fit and finish on this is, I think, excellent. You know, there's no gaps you know between the tang and the I guess it'd be the uh I don't know what the hell it is scales freaking handles lanyard hole you know to me I'm pretty happy with it this isn't nearly as sharp as the more is though it can it did shave a little bit of hair off my arm but uh not like the more did this could use a little bit of probably a uh, strop in or something which I just barely bought some uh, bought went to Hobby Lobby bought a cheap leather belt you know a uh, belt kit for uh, leather works and um, I'll use that as my strop and then I got some uh, the green freaking
microfine honing compound. Yeah, some of this stuff right here is like I think eight bucks, nine bucks or something. And said at Hobby Lobby, got me a, a belt blank. You know, you get that for freaking ten bucks. You know, and you got yourself a real leather strap. Now it's only about a inch and a half, inch and a quarter wide. I haven't measured it yet, but I mean, uh, yeah, it's probably looking at an inch and a quarter. Um, which of course, ideally, it should be wider, but hey, ten bucks, better than thirty or forty dollars for a freaking strap, right? Anyhow, back to the knife. The only thing I did notice is you can't tell, but I can, is the very, very edge, like say up here in the belly, this area is a lot sharper than say right here. Like this didn't get finished as well. That is the only, only thing I can see that is, I guess, wrong with this. Now, I want to say someone else had said, too, that this didn't have a true uh, Scandi grind. They said there was a micro bevel. Mine, at least I can't tell. Well, if you guys can. Maybe it's there, maybe it's not. I don't know. I can't really see right now. But, to me, it seems like it's a full, you know, true Scandi grind. So, I don't know. This weekend coming up, me and my boy, Grumpy, we're going to go camping. So uh, I'll take both of these and along with a few other knives. I mean, I'm not totally into uh, bushcraft and all that stuff yet. You know, kind of getting into it. Wanted to check it out, which is the reason why I even bought these two knives. You know, seems interesting, seems fun, a little hobby. So, uh... Here's the Bush Lore by Condor, which I'm very, very happy with. Freaking 38 bucks, I think it was. There's more right here. I think I got this for like $16, $17, something like that. It's kind of neat, convenient. Just slap that over your belt. Drain hole. Now this, I mean, I've heard tons and tons about the uh, leather sheath on the condor knives this is freaking nice look at that welt this is thick as hell I'll tell you what now I was expecting it to be like you know this good quality because of the tons of reviews that I read on it you know the stitching seems pretty good but it's also riveted you know, this is just freaking awesome. Badass. I don't know if you can tell, but underneath the condor, it says condor. <laughs> Anyways, I said this weekend, me and Grumpy, six-year-old, going to go up to the mountains for a couple days, do some camping, eat man food and whatnot. Sure is all gonna be chopping the hell out of some wood. This has actually got some heft to it right now too. This is nice. I like that. And yeah, that's not all the packaging, of course. It came with you know booklet. Basically just a uh, catalog. Came with this, letting you know that made out of carbon steel and it'll rust if you don't take care of it condor tool knife all right well that's about it for right now I said I'll get back to you guys a little bit later or another date and time see how I like these I got a feeling I mean I've, I haven't seen really any negative reviews on either one of these knives. 
and uh, said I'm not going to put it to the use, nearly any of the use that uh, a lot of people do. So uh, the both of these will probably last me forever. But I'm really liking this one right here. I, God dang, this is freaking nice. I'm really liking this. All right, everyone. See you later. Have a good day. Bye.